Jessica, would you please us with the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. notification system yeah. on a future agenda. Correspondence is very limited. We've got a we do that at the end. We do? Oh no we do the bills. I think. Sorry. We've got a donation uh, from the Gabers, a very generous donation for Old Home Day. Yes. So we'll have to thank them and send a note to them. Jessica? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very generous. Old Home Day. Give that to the treasurer. And we have the new payment schedule for the Governor Wentworth School District for the next year. For, starting in July? Yes. The payments do pay. It payment shows June on page still, but it's. <coughs> it shows June on page for all the towns, but it stops the July payments. Nice cover letter. All right. Order okay. Meeting minutes from 513. I mean, I think it's a work session or something, the officers or something like that. She usually goes there the night before because they have to set up and get ready, and she's typically part of the registration team that has to be ready to do the pack. They set up the packets ahead of time, I think is what she told me, and get everything ready, and she has to be there because she's the registrar when they start coming in early in the morning. And the, the request for payment did not include that first night? Did not include that yeah, person. Okay. okay. That was, uh, but then there was another request that she submitted for the regional mm -hmm. town clerk association, and that's maybe where the confusion is. So I think. Well, they got the scholarship in there. Anyone well, else? Yeah. So, so, how do we want to change it to reflect what happened? Whichever she asked for was the first one night, right? She, I think she asked for. Who was still the bill? I have the bills. I brought the bills back. Yes. <coughs> okay, but this is for the October one. There's I two. didn't have the one for the, the New England one. Right. There's two coming up. Yeah. There's the one that she normally goes to, the one from New Hampshire. Yeah. This is the one she normally goes to. That's right. And that should not include it like the, the, the first night because no. that's the one she goes to, right. to uh, set up. Mm -hmm. Right. And she has another one that's in my briefcase for the regional one. Yeah, that was the one that we weren't sure. And we, she asked us to reject that request because she believed she would get a scholarship. And that's why that was submitted with the request for a scholarship. So why don't we say for the first one we just approve one night a request for a one night? No, this is a two night actually. You could say that you're approving her to attend the regular two night October yes. New Hampshire so, tax collectors yes. workshop. Yes, but we need the minutes to reflect what we talked about. There you go. That's what we're on. So 
We you asked you said you were going to go to her for clarification yes, as a regional, and I which did. you did. Then the October one was two nights, which we we always said we we so we would do the one night because we, the travel wasn't necessary. That's what I thought we talked about. All right, let's let's we did we didn't make any motions on that to pay that bill. So let's just work the meeting minutes right now. So mm -hmm. I, I said I was going to talk to her, mm -hmm. and that, that's correct. Mm -hmm. We didn't make any motions to pay any of those invoices. Mm -hmm. And we didn't say it's mine in here, so that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, we can simplify a pair of bones. There was two, two requests. requests from town clerk for to attend informational meetings regarding clerk work. Uh, clerk work. We would request additional clarification. That's fine. Just leave it real bare bones. Again. The town clerk submitted two requests to attend clerk seminars. Conferences. Clerk conferences. Conferences. And the board agreed that we would get clarification before And we're authorized. Before, yeah. Before authorizing our vote. So you want me to strike the entire yep. thing? Yeah, just put that in there. Okay. Or you can leave that, that I was going to need clarification. That's your right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too fast. No. We'll leave the clarification. <coughs> All right, anything else? Period. Just need your she said yes here. I felt that. I felt that. <laughs> okay. All right. I make a motion to accept the May 13th minutes as drafted, even with the verbal revisions we just made. Not, no, I'm not here. No, 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 no. It's how you're voting. By name. 
by name. Well, I'm voting yes by name. I understand that. Okay. Thank you. We... Okay. Any public comments? All right. Let's do the treasurer's report. Thank you. I'll get the next treasurer. Then in a moment. Not much going on. Not much going on. So cash in the bank. Um, in the checking account, we have 86802.03. In the savings account, um, I had 231.198.04 and 27,245.14 in the insurance account. And so and then 18,858.14 in profile, which would have been a total of 364. I remembered I wrote the check for the school, which is 122,000. So we actually have 242,000, not 364. So, but that should get us paid for June with the school, as well as the regular monthly bills. So we should be okay. And now that the bills, the tax bills have gone out, we'll start getting money in. Okay. That's it for me for that. Tax collector or deputy? Bills went out. All bills? There is one uh, question. We had uh, the weak cemetery property. You folks need to make a decision whether that bill should go out. It has, I don't believe it has gone out. I believe we held that back. Um, is that the weekend? Wiggins. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yes. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing, though, I think you guys should be aware of. I believe there's another cemetery in town that looks on the property card the same. It's very similar to the Wiggins Cemetery, and its uh, assessment is zero. So we should be consistent. And I meant to look up the lot map a lot, but I can't do that. So last year we just we, we decided last year that we were going to issue an abatement for one year, based upon our meeting with the Wiggins family. It would be coming come up again this year. So it's time to make another decision on what we're going to do with the Wiggins property this year. You know, we may have another one up there, or that we're already doing zero. That's right, possibly. What was the one that we? That had the Jim Whittemore letter. We was, we was. Yeah. That's the same one we're looking yeah. Okay. That's the one we did for one year. I guess what I'd like to do is give the abatement this year. We're going to have a reassessment done in town. Make sure all these true up the same way at the end of the year when all the assessments come in. So we, we don't have to do this every year. If it's zero, it's zero for all. Let's just make it one and done. Yeah, that, that's my take. If there's one right now that's zero and we have another one that's not, we should be consistent. Yeah, because when we roll back, you know, 12 years ago or something, they all had a value. They, they did. made it that way. Yeah, for some crazy reason, the software would only understand that it had a value. So they all had a value. But obviously, they've upgraded the system that some of them don't need that. Yeah. But it was their system. Okay. I like Rich's approach because it gives, puts us in the assessors. Us in firm's hands to make that determination, and then once we do it, it's consistent for all. So okay. I'm good with the abatement as well. So you make a motion for this year. This okay, so I'm going to make a motion that we <coughs> agree to an abatement for the Wiggins Cemetery for 2014. 13, 14, 14. 14. Yeah, I remember 14. I second. Okay. Any other discussion? Box. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And clarification, that would be the June bill and the December bill. 2014 right. taxes. Okay. Yes. I just want to pass that message on. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jessica, administrative assistant, assessor clerk. Mm. You got a bunch of stuff. No. I have an intent to escalate and two um, warrants for excavation last year just to collect the taxes on those. So, all three of the slides? Yeah, all three pages.
Do we want to talk about the propane now? Or? Sure, you do it now. So we got an estimate for the propane for next year. Um, I did send it to everybody. I don't yep. know if you looked at it. Okay, good. So, the 188? Yep. Yeah, the 188. Now, there's things to consider that price changes any time between now. I think last year we put it out in September. He said the price fluctuates between now and then. So whenever you say go, that's the price. That's the price. Right? Correct. Except if you buy the insurance, which is how many cents for the the two oh two. If you go to the two oh two, as the rate goes down, you pay pay less. It's based on when they deliver it. We're going with Well, my comments are I buy propane at home. I always buy the propane in July or August just to meet a low point. And I think we're going to need more gallons, might, which might change that, that price. Well, I talked to them, and I think, what do they have, 1,500, 1,600? 15. 15. 15. And I said, we do not know what it's going to be. He implied it would be the same price if we up to, you know, 1,900 or whatever that is. Okay. But he did say, um, you know, if we pre-bought, if we went over, then we're up the creek yep. because we'd have to pay. By doing it this way, whatever we use, we get that price. We can double check that. It's a okay. collection that we told me. And he's going to keep sending those every couple of weeks. As we told me anyway, mm -hmm. he would keep sending them. Showing the current price. Showing the current price and whatever we want to jump in. What well, was it? What? Uh, the same. White mom. White mom. We still have a credit with them. So. Yes, we do. Good point. Well, that's, that's what they want you to do. So you want to just keep on waiting? I'd like to keep an eye on the price yeah. to see if it goes <coughs> down a little bit. Mm -hmm. it, it's not going to spike. We're not going to, you know, because we're getting into hurricane season, but that's another couple months away before that gets real. So maybe we just wait it out another month, see if the price goes down another few shekels. Mm -hmm. We said that implied the pricing was the same. Well, Again, no, he didn't say that because <clears throat> we're just where it is now. But as far as what we're going to get as a, a deal, we're in the same level. We're going to do the same for us as far as uh, dealing with us. And just now, flush it with it. Yeah, yeah, just the market price. We'll he, makes his, he makes his profit on top of the base. I'd be happy waiting a couple of six weeks. Yeah, I, all right. There's no reason it's going to jump. It's it might, but yeah, yeah someone you know, something weird happens, it could jump. But at this point, we're just going to. Are you going to buy Yeah, I did. Okay, I did. Uh, every, every time they come in, they you just email them out to us just so we can see. And oh, I will. Oh yeah, I always do that anyway. But yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all I have. DRA, we're going to meet with, do we have a date for the Oh, so we have to pick a date to meet with DRA in Avatar. Everybody sent me some um, dates. Bill, of course, I didn't get yours until the 27th. I didn't get yours until Friday. Can okay. you put the 27th, 28th, and June 4th? So I say we go with June 4th. That's a Wednesday. I don't know. Yeah, I will no, I'll be in Concord on the day. Yeah, that's the day that Bill said it. I just said no, I sent it back the second email. The first one I sent oh, said it was a good day, and then I sent you another one an hour later or something and said, Oh, I didn't get that one. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah. Did, um, did you get it? Yeah, somebody got it. Right. Not totally. Yeah, I got it. You got the second one? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what's a good day? Did That's a good question because I have to look to see what other dates that are. Go with the fourth of that one. Spoil sport here, but that's the last day in Concord. That Wednesday, it's a Wednesday. Oh, right? Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stick with the fourth. Let's get it done. Let's stick with the fourth. Okay. All right. If they so can still make it. Let's do it the fourth. That's going to be what in the evening. Six o'clock. Oh, it's in the evening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should be. I should be home. That's right. I should be home. Yeah, that's what you basically wrote. That's right. You said you should be, but you couldn't be late, so it wasn't a great. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's do June 4th at 6. Thank you. Okay. Being my memory. All right, and tomorrow... Did you hear that, Bill? The recommendation was 6 o'clock. Yep. Right? All right. Yep. Okay. 
Tomorrow, um, Craig Nichols from DRA is coming in just to say hi. Just let you know if anybody has any questions, let me know, and I'll we'll coach him tomorrow morning about it. Okay. That's it. Planning board didn't meet their meeting third, third Thursday. Code enforcement officer, road agent. Uh, not, not much in the code department. A few uh, applications. I've been telling people to get them online. I suspect they'll be coming in this week with a, they're just minor things. Um, as far as the roads go, well, obviously we ground life at road. Uh, we'll be putting gravel down starting 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then in between putting the gravel, it's going to take probably two days. Tomorrow will be one day and then hopefully Friday will be the next, the second day to finish up the gravel. <clears throat> Whenever I'm not there putting gravel down, I'll be grading the regular, doing our regular grading on the regular roads. And I ask for patience because I started life at road, the dirt portion, and I got rained out and I had to just kind of bail out because it was getting, which is, after I loosened it all up, it sucked up all the water and became like putty. So I just laid it back out so people could get over it and I have to, I was only about halfway into it when that happened, so I gotta go back and do that, finish that up. But it's raining. <laughs> well, it's good. I mean, yeah. it softens that road up. It does. Nice. It was, it was actually, I was going along great, and it just started raining, and it was raining pretty hard, and I thought, oh, I may, I may make it. It's going to let up, and it never did. And the last time I went up through, it was just rolling off the mold board like putty, so I, I couldn't leave it in the window. I just flattened it enough so people could drive over it and left it. Okay, so do you have a date on paving? For the <clears throat> um, I when I last week when I at the end of last week when I asked him to schedule gravel for this week, I told him I needed to you know get a paving date, um, and he's the rain has affected him a little bit, so he hasn't been able to get it to me. But in the next day or two, he will give me a day that we're going to pay. He'll give me a date. Okay. And you get just as soon as I get any solid information, I'll put it on the website. Yep. Yeah. And then I did and one more thing as I did. Um, our spring road touch up for the tumble down deck to cla uh, class five to summer camps from Primo's driveway to Camp Road. That's all done. Good. Um, so that's update on what I've been doing. What I'd like to do, I mentioned this a couple of years ago. Um, I don't think it went anywhere from the selectman's point of view, but I see um, things coming in the future for Camp Road and all those residents out there that are tearing down camps and building year-round camps that, like uh, what happened with us on the Dick Road when they, they swarmed the meeting and had it turned over to a town road, we were urgently trying to upgrade that road and make it plowable. So what I would ask you selectmen to consider is allowing me to spend X number of dollars a year kind of thinning the trees on Camp Road between the walls and maybe doing a little above and beyond our legal obligation for the camp, uh, Class 5 to Summer Camps. Just in preparation, just so in case anything were to happen, we're not going to get hit hard. And it'll make it, you know, if three or four years go along and nothing happens, it's just going to be easier for us to do our summer maintenance up there too. How does it affect when we, we do it if we don't have to do it? Does that set something into cycle that we now start we, we own No, it? because we're, <coughs> um, by RSA, we're only obligated to maintain that in the summer. And that's, I, that's the only time I'd be doing it. I wouldn't be plowing it. I'm just making it, you know, taking down some of the trees that are right there on the edge. Because right now I, I have to do it with the backhoe and my little, my little, um, grader blade on the back of my small backhoe. I can't fit the grader up through there. I tried that one year and it was disastrous. So, I mean, if I was to take $5,000 out of my budget every year and put it in there or 4000 or whatever you would allow me to and just put it towards filling work up there, it would make it a much better situation. Here's my next question. How much do you think each year would help? So, 
four or five thousand bucks a year. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, being up there, looking at how you know the tree work that's got to be done, some some turnouts. You know, it's another one of our typical old roads where it's cut down into the land to make it flat, so there's no place for water to go. Hence, it runs down the road, or if it sits in a dip, makes potholes. They're not going to swallow your car, but they're as big as a car, but they're only like eight deep. And uh, either that, or it runs down and gets going down the road and runs across the ledge and bears all, and just ex just wipes the sand and dirt out and exposes all that ledge. So. Yeah. Yeah. My my comment is, I think we got to make it. I like the idea. But I think we've got some other work in front of you that we have to get done first. Yes. So make that a low priority. That's right. I, when I said fill in, it's just like if we're if we're waiting for something and you know certainly not take our prime time and in, in uh, efforts in going up there. Mm -hmm. That's not what I mean at all. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we cap it at five thousand, four thousand? Where are you from? Right. <laughs> Let's make it simple. I'll go to four thousand. I, like, okay. I like simpleness. So you were going to get us a idea how much it costs to clean up the pile of stumps. Oh. And I did forget that. I've been concentrating on getting my grader going, <laughs> which I finally did. But yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I will. I will have it before the next meeting. Okay. And the status of the trees on life. You attack those yet? I, I, I have it. not, because I again, with when they were able to come grind sooner than I expected, you know, I called him and said, let's schedule. He goes like, well, I can be there next Thursday. So I kind of, kind of switched my gears a little bit, and uh, we've been, you know, put the rush for me to get my grader going, and I've been chasing those parts. Again, got it going. I really need to get the roads graded before I do those trees. Again, yep. it's, there's more importance put on the travel of the road than there is the trees, because that's going to benefit us next winter. So it's kind of on the back burner, but it'll be the first thing that I do when the grading of the roads is done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Conservation Commission. Yes, Tom. Can I just hear you say you were meeting for? June 4th, here. That's what they're doing. <laughs> well, the That's a regular schedule meeting. Um, I guess we could set a table up in the town hall. I mean, is it here now? Because they, they are working, I was going to talk about it, they're working like being until there. Um, so then we'll we'll meet if we have to in the uh, yeah. in the townhouse. Yes, sir. Um, we start at six. It probably won't be anything drastic. We'll probably be done by seven. If you guys want to just yeah, yeah, we'll go at six next door. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's use our okay. I don't want to have to you know, arm wrestle you from the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Tom. <clears throat> Uh, emergency management director is not here. Forest fire, the forestry truck. Let's see. We took the duck work to the dump. We got authorization to drop that free. No one has bid on or has shown any interest in the oil tank that I've heard of. Oil tank, yes, sir. I mentioned the oil tank to somebody the other day and I asked them to come down and take a look to see if it's what they wanted because they had specifically asked me for a lay down tank over a year ago and I happened to think of him when I was driving past this house. I will check in the next day or two to see if he did come down and take a look. So there's potentially somebody who may want it. Resident in town? Yes, a resident in town. Okay. There were $75 on uh, Craigslist. Craigslist if you can get them and there's bunches of them for sale. Yeah. Bunches of them. Uh, I asked Dr. Darrow about the, about the equipment to move the bricks and the safe, and that equipment is being used at his construction job down over in Wakefield, so it's not available. So nothing's happened to the bricks with respect to moving them, and nothing's happened to the safe because. You need equipment. Is that something you can lift with your with your stuff, or you can't get in there to get at it? 
I may be able, I'll, I'll look, I may be able to get into it. Your challenge is going to be pushing the safe back. No? Back by the trailer. Yeah, well, if, I'll, I'll look, see if I can get in. I know on, on this side, um, on this side, I can get all the way to the back. Okay. But that has, that has a longer roof. So I'm, I'll, I'll look. Okay. Thank so you. If we need to move the bricks, let us know. Well, we're going to have to get them out. We'll have to move them out. If they're on the pallet, if, if you can move them out with, to get them outside, that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. We should have to walk through that building. Just like to see what's in. There's a lot of stuff in there. I'm not sure why we have some of the stuff in there. Yeah, we kind of peeked in there, I don't know, back when we were doing the bricks. When the bricks went in there the first time, we peeked around and there was some stuff that we questioned, other stuff that we understood what it was. And it would be worth peeking in there. Tonight? If we have time, there's a, like for example, there's a trailer in there. I don't know. What we're going to do with the trailer? Yeah. It's a small trailer that goes behind a, a vehicle. That's when we should take a peek. Is it something the town owns? The trailer? I would assume we're not storing for someone. <laughs> I think we <laughs> own it. <laughs> She's got the inventory list. So. <laughs> it's just it, it's a small little trailer. It's, a, it's, a, it's an ex-military trailer. Oh, that sounds like a. It went with the old, I believe, the old forestry. <laughs> <coughs> I don't think I've ever seen it used. Back to the forestry. Do you know how many times since we've had it, it's been deployed for actual fire use? Do we keep a lot of it when when we? Oh, use it doesn't have to keep a lot. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it keeps a lot. When Brad double yes. Yeah, when Brad's here the next thing, I was hoping that's what I was just wondering. What, what kind of use are we getting out of it? And you, you might consider calling Carroll County Dispatch because this town has a number for when that gets called into service, when they, when they tell us that we, you know, we have a number associated with our, in a tone for when that needs to go out. And I don't know how far back their records go, but it's 20, I can't remember what our number is, but it's 20, oh. 26 or something like that. Do we have any plectrons or uh, devices to be <laughs> <Plectrons. told laughs> to, to be respond to respond to the tone? Put the safe on this thing. What? Put the safe on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we're going to say that for Brad. All right, no, it's a good Brad question. I was just curious if we kept a log here. I mean, doesn't sound like if we do, no one knows about it. So, oh, it's Brad. Heritage Commission. Heritage Commission. The Heritage Commission would like to appoint Stephen Lochesky to become a member. Um, his term will then expire in 2017, so I need a motion to do that. Okay. Uh, I make a motion that we accept the Heritage Commission's appointment of Steve Lochesky uh, to the Heritage Commission. Second. Okay, any other discussion? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. I don't know, I just usually do one, so I'll just get done out in a few minutes. And I would um, like to report that um, I have some very good news on the windows. Um, we have possibly, we have five windows paid for, possibly six. We have two private citizens who want to donate a window anonymously. The Heritage Commission voted at their last meeting to pay for one, and I approached David Gutadero, and he will either do one, either personally or as Tumble Down Farm. And um, there's one other lead that I'll be following up on, and they may be willing to do one as well. And then John and Marilyn, John Nelson and Marilyn Bushman, uh, sent me an email last night that said they never submitted a bill for their auditor services for this year and they would like to donate that money towards the purchase of a window for the town. So. Excellent. Excellent. Now, That's good for, without, we take it, you take in the money for this? Yeah. Okay, and that's put and in And the here. selectmen all have to approve each and every time I get money, I'll notify you. 
But you don't you have to, it. you can spend as, say you took in for the sake of argument, $10,000. I would love it. You mm -hmm. could spend all of that 10000 without affecting anything budget related? Yes. Okay, so well, it's above and beyond. Well, to the effect, the expense will be recorded and the money will be recorded mm -hmm. as far as what you look at in the blue book. Is it to the general fund and then out of the general fund? Yes, we only have one fund. We don't have any so other fund. So if you went and spent, is that extra money to spend? She can't. Or if you can, should the people make the checks privately to the window provider or something like that? I'm just trying to think of a way that we can... Would it make sense to go to the Heritage Commission fund? Can, we, can that get paid? And then write one check out of the Heritage? And then you try to see what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, now that you're saying that. Um, so I don't think I'm getting where you're coming from. If it's a general fund, you'll see <coughs> that the money came in and was donated. Any money that's received as a donation to the town has to be approved by the selectmen. So then the expenditure, you would see the expenditure for the windows, but it doesn't matter what you raise, you would just see the money as a donation, be it either designated for windows or designated or non-designated. Well, let's say that the budget's, for the sake of argument, a million dollars. Yeah. We've spent one million, and all of a sudden you want to buy extra one of my windows. Can you do it? Can we go over the million and say a million plus whatever is donated, or we're, no matter what, we can only. So, are you looking at the bottom line budget at the end of the year where you can't go over That's that? That's correct. Okay. So, I don't think the windows are going to put you over. Would some of the other construction in there? Well, I think it's too early to tell, but I don't think. Good question. It's, yeah. Good question. Good I don't have an answer, but I could certainly write uh, Jeannie Sams at DRA and see what she says, <laughs> and I don't mind doing that. But if it went to the Heritage account, can, couldn't we do that and then write a check right from there? You could. And then it avoids any kind of budgetary issues. Is they're allowed to accept sure. money. We're allowed, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if no, that's we closer. can accept money. The, the trick with that one would be that the town wouldn't actually have an accurate look at the expenses that were spent on the building because it would not be recorded here for the public to see. That would be a concern to me. But with it, why should the public, if John Nelson and Marilyn Nelson uh, Bushman, if they donate a window, they want to do this above and beyond as a good deed. Yes. So I can see it shows we bought windows, but if we didn't have the money, they want a window that our budget finished. Is maxed out, I get that. that they yeah. still pay for a window and they want to see a window. So I guess what I'll have to say is I'll need to call, I'll need to to contact Jeannie Sams and I'll get back to you all. And I'll report back at the next meeting. Thank you. The issue for the, for the people out there is we're not, the town is not allowed to spend more than was authorized at the town meeting. So we have additional income. We still can't spend more than was authorized. Hence, we've got to find out how we can use the donation. Okay. I have a feeling it could be adjusted, but I... Well, she'll tell us how. Yeah. They're not going to help. They're, they're going to help us. Except one. Yes, I've been able to. <laughs> okay, good. I just have a quick question. Are you getting little plaques for each window? So that's something I'm still debating. Um, and I think it will depend on each person. Certainly any donations that are made will be listed in the annual report next year. Um, and we'll go from there. I don't mind getting little plaques and the Heritage Commission could certainly fund that part of it. I just think a little engraved a little. Yeah, no, I think that's right. Yeah. But we're also, remember, we're going to be doing the brick, sale of bricks. So I was also going to collect names for that and try and put them in the annual report as well. If we can. Yes, sir. Um, how about just when somebody wants to donate a window, 
How about if you just give them the name of the window supplier and let them run a check it in directly? You want to, I wouldn't want to go that way. Okay. We'll just check it out and see what, see what yeah. suggested. So like, it's a possibility, but... Anything else, Mary Lou? No, not for you. Uh, cemetery trustees. We are meeting Tuesday, 10 o'clock, is my recollection? And we're going to meet on Tuesday and look over a potential site for a cemetery <coughs> um, and uh, do a little field trip. Yep. And go out to see what it's like and see if that is something worthy of, of consideration. I won't be able to do that, but I'll gladly hear the after action report. Okay. Town clerk, I briefly touched upon that earlier. Um, it was my understanding that the, the, the bill that she submitted was just for the conference evenings and not the preliminary one, not right. the early one. Mm -hmm. So based upon that, I'd suggest we approve it. That's our standard conference. It was for Virginia. Jennifer, I think, is staying. It's just going for the day. Okay. So it's lunch and the day, whatever that is. So that's a typical one night. Two nights. It's a two night she used to go for three. Two nights she used to go for three. Okay. And Jennifer's the day and lunch. And she forgot to put what she wanted for lunch. I'll get her. Get the chicken. Okay. So <laughs> you'll have it anyway. <laughs> so we'll need a motion to pay that bill. I make a motion. Okay. And the October or November? October, 15th and 16th. I'll second the motion. And that includes Jennifer's expenses. And we have to prove that, or she's just saying this is the So well, the we're expenses. Paying for the nights. It, you're only paying two nights for Virginia. Right. You're paying for a day and a meal for Jennifer. Okay. That was my motion. Okay. And I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and then we, as a follow-up, there's two other things that are happening. Let me do the easier one first. Um, she would like us to write the letter, like I talked to about earlier, uh, denying her attendance to the regional conference, and she believes she's going to get a scholarship. So that's but she needs a denial in order to apply for the scholarship. Yes. So I'll, if that's okay with you folks, I'll work with Jessica and we'll get a letter out that says, based upon budgetary constraints, yes. she's not gonna, we're not going to fund that. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. The other issue is the state, with respect to communications of those, those computers and cable bills, they're getting out of that business. They want us to pick the charges up for the computers and the cable bill. They can't afford it, it seems, the state. Um, Lawyer represent. That's what I, that was my <laughs> point. That, I was going to say we shut it down, and when people complain, call the representative. Yeah. Or either, or both of them. It's going to be $80 a month for the cable. Every month. Yeah. And, and we need computers, and we need them installed. So we, you go ahead. This has come from the state. In what department? <laughs> Do you right? No. Um, it no. must be MV, motor vehicle. It's motor vehicle. It's a motor vehicle. No, if you, if and many of the towns, I talked to uh, three or four other towns, everyone went away from the state buying their computers many years ago because they knew the state was coming. Which I thought was interesting. And the cable. They provide I don't know about the cable. I didn't ask about the cable. They want us to put in some virtual private networks, VPNs on top of it, so people can't get into it. So we're putting in the... They want us to bear the cost to put the hardware in, and yes, in the cable. We're, we're doing the VPN side of it. Yes. That's not their side. Well, they need both sides, but yes, we have to put it on our side. And at that point, it becomes a private, virtual private network. Yeah. Yeah. That's wicked fun. What, it's $80 a month wicked fun. 
that just for the just for the, the broad name. Does it have? Does to she be? have a T1 line? No. Do they have a T1? No. She could have dialogue. Yes, sir. <laughs> Does it have to be that broad band? It seems to me what they're doing for registration and licensing is very small data flow. Can they get by with DSL at fifteen dollars a month? I would think so, in my opinion, but the state wants us to go to cable with VPN, because on cable you can get the, no, I don't know if you get VPN on, on DSL or not, I don't know that. I don't know. But DSL should suffice. The other option is, is she stopped doing it. It means you pay the tax to the town and then you go to Wakefield and have them write it up. It's a convenience to the people here to have them come here and pay the $2.50 and have it all done at one desk. Years ago, remember, you had to go to DMV to have it done. I mean, well, is there any particular person here? I'm going to this is the one. XP issue. The issue is the XP computer that has to be replaced. That's where it started. Oh, so is that because of that? Mm -hmm. They don't want to supply the computer, and they, they don't want to do the... Because XP is no longer supportive. And it's got the security issues. And it has, yes. I can, I can, okay, I can buy that one. Yes. It's the uh, key. No, it, it should have been replaced before April 8th. Okay. That's part of the flyer. I think the rest of the video go. There that's, is... That's the package. There is a computer available that could be reworked to be compatible. I do know that. Um, Or you could buy them. The, the cost is just being pushed to the community. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Lance, I think we could get someone to rework the computer, we pay that bill. Mm -hmm. Or we buy a new computer, we pay that bill. And then we have the cable issue, we pay that bill. Uh, now, she collects $2.50 for every transaction. She can go as high as $3. She could go to $3 because everybody else is at $3. But that doesn't even cover it. Right. Now, if it was Manchester, that's one thing where you have a bunch of vehicles. Mm -hmm. So you take a look at it, see if you socialize it down there? Yeah, I'm going to go visit and see if you have anything else. Yeah, let them know. Would you ask for a new computer? Do, do, does the select one, do we really need a computer? Well, that's the one that the tax code uses. No, well, that one. No, that's your server. That's that used to be a... I thought the server was over there. Oh, I don't need the server over here. Yeah. That's right, it's probably drilled the holes. Okay, so that's that's what's coming down with the town clerk issue. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank uh -huh. you, Bill. <laughs> How long have we known this is coming? A couple, about a month. Right after XP broke. Remember when XP had some security issues? Mm -hmm. That's what... Or that's when this all came down? I don't see the computer as big an issue as the having paid the cable. No, it's a monthly. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, the computer, you can get a computer yeah. it's not a time. It's the ongoing cost of 80. Yeah. And the installation and the VPN and all this stuff that's going to stack up pretty quick. There you go. Okay, that's the town clerk here. I'm wondering if the town clerk is there all the sellers and sellers? Yes. Just reminding people that they're having oh, a oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I caught what she was doing that plan. <laughs> oh, thank you. It was like a layup, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working on the contact with um, Time Warner to see if municipalities get a little cheaper rate. I'm still trying to get through to the guy. Okay, thank so you. Don't give up on the cable. Yeah. Okay. We, we, we could propose to shave that off of the selectmen salaries pay for it. Take, take, take them to zero. Well, we could cut something. Or we could raise the fee to the people that use the service. If you don't use the service, there's no impact. If you use the service, you pay for it. There's many options. Yes, there are. Uh, joint loss management doesn't meet. Website statistics, quarterly report, or anything else from the website team. Yes. Back to the uh, suggestion I made at the last, whenever it was, about doing the, uh, the business directory. Here is 
the forum that I created that, that helped to uh, have people submit, okay, have people submit their information to the directory. Um, if you have any comments on that, let me know. And thinking of, it's posted on the web. One person has received it that I know of. I don't know if any of them has have pulled it off the web, but one person asked me for a copy of it. And I thought we'd also put maybe some over here on the table so that people can pick them up and fill them in by hand. Um, so far, nobody has submitted anything to a post in the directory. And I think we discussed not putting a disclaimer we're not endorsing the directory. I looked at our town website has a disclaimer already. It's more than sufficient. Okay. It's it's four big paragraphs long. <laughs> to, to show that. Yeah, it's it's for the entire website, so it would include this. Okay. Okay, and the plan is that when you get some of these in, you folks are gonna let us look at them right. first before we put the first ones up. Comments? Questions? No, it's good. Thank you. All right, thanks, Rose. Uh, Agricultural Commission. Okay, any other boards or committees? Old business. Uh, I'd like to thank Frank Frazier for getting the flags on the graves for Memorial Day. 51 flags. I don't know how many cemeteries, but 51 flags. And we've talked about getting names from from, from some of the graves. Many of the graves don't have names on them. It's very interesting. There's stones that are standing up with a military ID next to it from the war or whatever, World War II, World War I, but there's no name. So it's a mystery as to who's buried there. But there were 51 flags that went out. So that was, thank you, Frank. Um, we thank the Gavers. Uh, I can talk a little bit about next door. We have the electricians in there working, as is the plumber. The plumber would like some money. He was going to give me an invoice. He started today. The plumber started today. He has a shower stall over there. He's got other equipment over there, so we'd like some money up front to, to pay for the equipment that he purchased already. He was going to get us an invoice tonight. I couldn't find it. Um, so I expect one to be coming shortly. Mm -hmm. Can we give authorization to pay that out of the cycle? Get to Murray, we'll get a check for him. Yep. He does recognize he's going to give us some options on the heater. The heater we asked him to resize it was too big, too expensive. And he recognizes he owes us that day to you. But he's doing the rough end right now. The electrician was over there starting last week. He's well on his way. Um, don't have a completion date for either one of them. I just unlocked the door for them. Yeah, the one question the electrician had for me was the thickness of the drywall and the ceiling for the lights. He needs to know how far to put the boxes down. Half inch, I thought. It just, it seemed like a safe bet, but I guarantee if I pick half inch, it'll be five eighths. So, I was just going to contact Gary to make sure, just to be safe. The other question he had me, and I, he said, what type of fixtures are going up? And I said, why do you ask? And he says, I have to know they have a box to put in, whether they're going to be heavy fixtures or light fixtures or medium weight fixtures. And I said, I have no clue. Be prepared for the heavy duty fixtures. It's the only thing you can do. Otherwise, if we get heavy fixtures, he's got to open it up and rework it. So, so overdo the box and overdo, overdo the box. He has to put blocking in to support the fixture. What else can you do if we don't know what we need? And I talked to him about the four extra lights. Yeah, and I sent him examples of what we're looking for. Thank you. Painter? Our utility garage is fully painted. Looks pretty good, right, Eddie? Mm -hmm. Well, it'll look good too. If for a building that was looking pretty rough, I keep that paint bought us, I think, some years. Keep that place up and not rotting out. He did a decent job repairing the door. 
I guess the one issue with, with the garage door is the runners coming out, so we need to bolt it, get some lags in. It looks like the door is separating from the, from the trim. If you look closely, I think the, the upper corner. Yes. Oh, you've seen that. Oh yeah, it's been like that for quite a few years. We had a, a garage door tech come out and rework it, and maybe we should call them again. It looks like it's just falling away from the from the structure. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. It was all part. Of, I think that that go around is when that that door jam was damaged. Okay. Oh, Matt, thought it came out pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. And we just saw him get a half, and Mary Lou's going to get a check for that this week. Any other old business? The, uh, what are the other projects? The other thing projects? They're, they're, I told her we were in no hurry. Okay. Um, they had to be done this summer, if she's been fine. Okay. The workaround for the lack of water at the, the power wash the building. She's made an agreement with God that they're going to run a hose from his well down with a pump on it to boost the pressure to do the, <coughs> to do the power washer. It's the closest wash. That works. Dave's going to hear that over. Anything else? No. Thanks. Um, the gas line over. Yes. Is that done yet, or is that going to be done soon? Thursday. Okay. Mike, Mike is supposed to be in the wrap his part of the job up. Okay, great. I just saw that when I was over there looking at the other elements. Huh? And I got a phone call from Brad after our last meeting. Look, we said we were looking for people to do some work in town. Brad said he'd be very interested in putting his name on that list, too, if we have some minor jobs. What about handyman yeah. type work? Okay. So that's good. It'd be good to have some depth there in case Eddie can't get to something. Brad can't be real yeah. alternates. Um, any grass cutting going to get done soon? It was done once. Mm -hmm. I see it's growing good. It's healthy. It's raining a lot. I saw it too. So, alright. Um, it was weak. Anything else? No. We have to schedule, I have one more week to schedule a meeting. We have to schedule a non public meeting. Um, so, based upon our calendar, what would we like to do that? Absolutely, you need it. Can I wait till the next meeting, or do you want to do a special meeting? Oh, it's going to be non-public, with, with a, with a okay. resident. Okay. So I think we should have it in a separate meeting. Well, you want us to do it early on the 10th? What do you mean the 10th? Why are you saying the 10th? The 10th is our next meeting. I think we should stay away from that Tuesday night. Is this going to be a long meeting? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> can Jessica send us out an email to look at good dates? Sure. I just That way I can look at my work. Oh, I schedule because June gets a little weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your list in, in conference is the fourth, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you should have better flexibility into the fourth, and then yes. we'll schedule that with yeah. our resident. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we just check and we can try to throw out a good day early June. Yeah, throw some things out. Okay. All right, that's all I have. Anything else for the public? Any comments? Okay, meetings adjourned. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, we, can not done. Bills. we can sign bills later. We'll do it now. <laughs> we, should, we shouldn't adjourn until we're done with the bills. Uh, if we have any bills. discussion about the bills. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Yes, we're still going. Adjourned. We're on a journey. We didn't say it. That's fine. Thank you. Know, that's good. <laughs> we didn't. What do you get? Anything special? So far, not. Those are the abatements. Oh, so I did wonder. I wrote you all an email about a credit, a credit instead of having to go through the whole process of writing a check. There's an RSA that says we can do it. I'd like to those bills went out. What do you mean? We sent the tax bills out. You sent the tax bills out, but you could send a letter saying you don't have to send in payment with giving you credit for this amount. I wouldn't suggest it. I some can people get it through their escrow and everything. That's true. It could, it might be you know what I mean? 
and they automatically send the check from the company. I think next year if we get ahead of the curve and issue a bill that was smaller, we would not confuse the escrow accounts. They would just have the money. But right now, given we issued the bill, I let it. I let them go. Yeah. But yeah, like next year, like a better way to do it. And you would, if we'd have to limit it. So, for example, if we all of a sudden we owed a lot of money to one of the utilities or something, we wouldn't have to credit them for the bottom year. I could see some bills. So, you know what, I keep getting bills for Sam and Chris. I, I sent her a letter with a copy of this and did not hear back. Um, I'll follow up again tomorrow. Okay. So, I thought when Jessica researched it that it was actually something that was done possibly by the supervisors of the checklist. So that it is a bill the town owes, it was just, why do you say no? Because the thing that they put in there, they said that Carol had called it in. It was for me being out for two days. Yeah, it was to close her office. nothing to do with her. So, Where did they it. even get that information? I don't even know. You mean it was posted? It was in the newspaper? It was in the newspaper yeah. saying that I was going to be out for two days. They sent the article. For my conference. Yeah, because they sent the article. And then when I called to say who called it in, they said it was Carol. I said, that's impossible. She would not have called it in on, on my behalf. And I don't right. post it. So yeah. And she doesn't even call it in. No. Cheryl that does that for the supervisors. Yeah, it's so. really weird. The whole thing is weird. Right. And it's Carol so coming in the not even the grand I will follow up because I sent a quick letter saying, you know, this seems to be in, in error. But can you please explain? And, so there's the Virginia for two nights. Charges for a boat ride. It's going to make them both pretty small. Oh, that's his time. Small. Thank you, folks. This, time we'll this is the real one. This is the real one. <laughs> the real one. Unless we walk outside and look at the shed. We'll do that. <laughs> 